Hello and welcome to Mr Tomkins EdTech. This is the second video in a series looking at Microsoft Teams within an educational context. In the last video we looked at setting up a new team and this time I'll be showing you how to use that same group to create a OneNote staff notebook or class notebook right from within the Teams interface. OneNote class notebook really is a fantastic innovation from Microsoft and one I'd encourage all teachers with access to Office 365 to try. Today I'll simply be showing you how to set one up and I'll be looking at using OneNote with a class or staff team in much more depth in another video. Now there's actually a standalone tool for making class notebooks already within Office 365 but Microsoft added this new creation tool to Teams over the summer and it is now preferable to use this one especially if you are using school data sync to create your classes automatically within Teams. So, here is the staff team I created in the last video for our maths teachers. You can see the three tabs at the top for conversation, for files and staff notebook. Now you can see that the staff notebook has not been set up yet, but I have a big purple button that I can push to set up staff notebook. So let's press that and see what happens. Now the first screen is just an information screen. It explains the three different sections that will be created in the staff notebook. So let's just click next. This next screen is about setting up the various sections in each teacher's private workspace. It's very easy to add new sections after the notebook is created, but it's a bit of a pain to remove them again. So unless you are very clear about how you want to use this notebook, I would delete most of these. You can rename them and you can add your own, but I'm just going to leave the professional development one for now. We are now ready to create the notebook, so let's hit create. It's reassuringly letting me know that it's getting my staff notebook ready. Past experience tells me that this process normally takes 30 seconds to a minute, but I suppose it depends on the current load on the servers, so perhaps it can occasionally take a bit longer. So let's give it a minute or two and come back. Okay, it's now done and the staff notebook has been created. You can see that it appears embedded directly in the Teams interface. Your functional menu is at the top and there is a pull out at the side to navigate around the notebook. You can edit it inline easily enough directly within Teams, but if you want additional functionality, you can press this open in OneNote button here and then open up either in full OneNote or in OneNote online. So we're all set up, that was easy. Before we end the video though, I want to show you some extra settings for the class notebooks that are hidden away. You can access these by clicking on the three epsilons next to the team here and selecting manage teams. If you're managing this team manually, you can add and remove members here and also change their status between owner and member. In the settings tab, there will be a section called OneNote staff or class notebook, which we can also open up. Here you can add sections, you can create a hidden section for the owner, or in the case of a class notebook for the teacher. I have this turned on for my class notebooks and I use this section for tests and things I've already prepared but I don't necessarily want the students to have access to just yet. Uh, there is a switch for turning the collaboration space on and off. I tend to leave this off for my class notebooks and enable it only when I want students to work together on a task. But for a staff notebook like I've got here, I'd leave this one on all the time. So let's just click it on. The notebook link is a web address for the notebook and can be copied and pasted into emails to help staff or students find the notebook. Finally, you have a link here for downloading and installing the class notebook add-in for OneNote. If you haven't installed this yet, do it right now. The class notebook ribbon gives lots of additional functionality to, give, uh, to help you manage your class notebooks. So you're now all set up and ready to go with your new staff or class notebook. The new creation tool in Teams is very quick and easy to use and I found it very, very robust. No real issues adding and removing students as a term has gone by. So why not give it a try? Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up below and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I'll be looking at class notebooks in much more detail soon, so why not hit subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as these are ready. Thanks for watching and I hope again to see you soon.